In this video, we're going to show you how to use the sheet feature. Now sheets are a handy way to organize your work where you can create sheets yourself and control them through the sheet management tab. Each sheet can have its own dimensions and settings, making it an ideal solution for when you're working on a project that requires multiple materials. So let's just go to file, close, and then we're going to open an existing file. So I've created a sign, which we can see here. So we've got the ve all the vectors that I need. And the idea with this sign is that I want to create it as part of a multi-material project. What I mean by that is I'd like to introduce different materials in order for us to create a nice contrast with our sign. And this is where we're going to look at using the sheets feature. So in order to access our sheet management, we can go to this tab over here. That will allow us to access our sheets where we can add new sheets, we can delete them. Not only can we access them from the sheets tab on the left hand side of our interface, we can also access them from this handy drop down menu right at the top here where we can look at adding in a new sheet if we wanted to. So before I go ahead and create any sheets, I need to decide what elements are going to be cut out of what materials. So looking at our overall design, I'd like our background where we've got this texture, I'd like that to be in a nice cherry material. Then I'd like the welcome sign to be cut out over a white acrylic so we create a nice contrast between the two materials and the colours. And then the two hour home with these two arrows, I'd like to machine those out of a black acrylic. So again, we're creating contrast between uh, the black and the white. And then for the border, I want to cut that out of a simple MDF that I can then paint up to whatever color it is that I want it to be. So what I need to do is I need to create four different sheets and assign different elements of my project to those sheets. So in order to create a new sheet, we come to the bottom here and we use this option to add new. Sheet one will, will be automatically created based on the same XYZ values as the original sheet that we've started with. And we're able to edit the name to, in order for us to be able to identify it. So I'm gonna call this one Cherry. And I'm actually going to keep the XYZ values exactly the same here because that is the size of the material that I'm working with. So then what we need to do is we need to copy vectors over to our newly created sheet. And if I just zoom out over here, you'll see that the cherry sheet has been created over here. And in order for me to switch between sheets, I can double click onto the sheet within my 2D view. Alternatively, I can double click on the sheet listed in our sheets list here and you can see we're able to switch between each one of those. So I'm actually going to take all of the vectors as I want to copy all of those over to our cherry sheet as they are going to be needed uh, in terms of us creating our toolpaths. So with all of those vectors selected I can right click and I can use this option to copy to sheet and then I can select the sheet in my sheets list. Alternatively, if I wanted to move them, I could use the move to option as well. In this case, I want to copy as I want to keep all of my sign layout safe on this sheet that we've got here. That will act as a kind of master design that we're always able to go back to. So I'm just gonna copy all of those over to our cherry sheet and you'll see that they've been copied over here. So let's just switch back to the cherry and I'm actually just going to take this vector here as I don't need that. So I'm just going to delete that. We'll just press F just to fit that back to our screen. Okay, so next up, let's have a look at the welcome text. Okay, so for this, I'd like to cut this out of a white acrylic. Uh, so again, I need to add in a new sheet. So we'll use the add new option and I'm going to type in white acrylic like so um, and this time I actually want to edit the X Y Z dimensions here so in order for me to do that I can use this edit option at the bottom over here and this will allow me to edit the width height thickness Z zero position or the XY dating position for this sheet only 
in which case I want to give that a width of 18, I want to give it a height of 8 inches and a material thickness of 0 0.25. I'm going to keep Z0 on the material surface and the X1 in the lower left and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Okay, so there is my newly created sheet and again if I just zoom out I can see it's been added there. So going back to the original sign layout, if you double click onto that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, carefully select that text. Okay, so there it is and I'm going to just zoom out and I'm going to right click and say copy to sheet and then we'll go to white acrylic and you'll see it's been copied over here. Now it's worth noting that when you do copy vectors over to other sheets, it maintains its original X, Y position in relation to your X zero, Y zero. So that's why it's kind of coming up over here, which is fine because we can just double click on the sheet and then we can take it and we can just manually move that into a position that makes sense. So something like that. Okay, let's just press F to fit that to our screen. So now we're going to create another sheet for our two hour home and the arrows. And we're going to create that in the black acrylic. So we're going to use the add new option again. So if we just go over to the bottom and here we're going to call this one black acrylic. And then once that's created, we're just going to just check the dimensions, which is actually the same as it's taken from our last sheet that we created, which is perfect because those are the dimensions of my actual sheet. So now we're going to go back into our sign layout. So I'm actually going to use a drop down option this time. We're just going to click on that and that's going to open up that sheet and make that the active sheet. So we're just going to zoom in to our sheet. I'm going to take the text and then we're going to shift and select each one of these arrows as well. And then we're just going to press F to fit that to our screen. And we're going to right click and we're going to say copy to sheet black acrylic. And you'll see it's copied that over to the black acrylic sheet. So we're just going to double click on the black acrylic sheet to make that the uh, active sheet. And then obviously what we need to do is we need to arrange um, our vectors into a more suitable order in order for us to machine this quite efficiently without creating much wastage. Okay, so we're just going to move that over here. We'll take our to our home like so, and then we'll take this arrow and we can put that over there. So it looks something like that. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Now, whilst we've got quite a few sheets in view now, it's worth noting that we can turn the visibility of unactive sheets that we've got in our job. So for example, uh, we can turn off the visibility of the cherry sheet by just clicking on this button here and you'll see it will just hide that for us and we can do that the same to the other ones. And then to turn them back on, you can simply just ping them all back on and you can see that we now have visibility of all of our sheets. So let's just press F to fit this to our screen so we can see all of our sheets a little better. So now we're going to look at creating our final sheet, which is the MDF, and that's going to house the border for our sign. So again, let's use the add new option. And then under the name, we're actually going to call this one MDF, like so. And then again, we're going to look at altering the dimensions here using the edit option. So here we're going to go with a width of 24 and we're going to go with a height here of uh, 15 and then we're going to go with a thickness of 0 0.375. Z0 and XY positions are okay here so we'll just go ahead and press OK. Okay so let's just press F to fit that to our screen and I'm just going to double click from the sign layout option and um, we're going to click on the outer border shift and select the inner border and just press F again so we can see everything. We're going to right click and say copy to sheet and then we're going to go to MDF and you can see that that's applied that to the MDF sheet over here. So we've pretty much got all of our sheets that we need. Now I just want to make an edit to the acrylic sheets and I've actually double checked my material and my material thickness is actually coming up as 0.26, not a quarter of an inch. So I need to edit the Z for both of those and I can do that by selecting the black acrylic, 
holding down control and selecting the white acrylic at the same time so you can see that they're both highlighted here and then when I use the edit option I'm able to then edit those for both of those so just to 0.26 and then I'll go ahead and press OK and you can see it's updated both of those sheets for me. And let's just press F so we can see all of our sheets. Now I just want to talk about going into the design tab and what happens if you use this option here to set job dimensions and origin. If we click on that, what will happen is the sizes that we ever change in here will apply to all of our sheets, okay? So it's worth noting that if you make a change here, it's going to make the changes across all of your sheets. For example, if I set the width here to six, you'll see if I zoom out, it's changed all of those sheets to have a width of six. So unless you want all of your sheets to be the same size, then go ahead and use this option. Otherwise, never do that and always just edit your sheets on an individual or as we showed earlier by selecting the specific ones that you want to edit from the edit menu uh, that we've got available in our sheets tab. So at this stage, we've now got a file where we're ready to create toolpaths for each one of those sheets. Now, rather than me go through each of those toolpaths in this session, I'm just going to jump ahead and we're actually going to open up a finished file that has all of those toolpaths in and just talk a little bit about the dynamics of our sheets and our toolpath previews. So let's open up the multi material welcome sign. Okay, so here is our file. Now we're going to switch over to the toolpaths command. So we're currently on the sign layout sheet, which is essentially our design sheet. So we don't actually have any toolpaths set for this particular sheet. But let's switch over to our cherry sheet. So to do that, I'm just going to double click on that sheet to activate that. And we can see here, we already have some toolpaths within our toolpath tree, and we've already assigned them to this particular sheet. Now it's worth noting that when you do go to create your toolpaths, on each sheet, the first thing that you should always do on a per sheet basis is set up your material according to the material that you are working with to ensure that everything is safe and appropriate and everything matches up to the material that you're actually cutting into. So that's what we've done in this example. So we're just going to go through each preview so we can take a look at that. So we're going to use the preview option here. And then what I've done is I've actually assigned our sheet to the uh, cherry appearance which you can do from the drop down list and this just gives us a good indication of what our part will look like so we can preview all of those toolpaths to see what this looks like and you can see there we've got our cherry portion of our sign here another way that you can switch between sheets is by using the drop down menu available in the toolpaths tab so let's go to the white acrylic Okay, so here you can see if we click on the palette here, I've used a solid white color here to represent my white acrylic. And then I could go ahead and preview that. You can double click there like so, and then we can go and see what that looks like, which is looking pretty good. Again, we can go back to our drop down menu here and let's go to the black acrylic in this case. And again, if I click on the palette here, you can see I've used a solid color black to represent my black acrylic. And then what I can do is I could go ahead and preview that and we can double click our waste material to take a look at what we've got there. Again, we could also look at using the drop down menu up here to switch between our material. So for example, we could go to the MDF sheet over here. And if I click on our palette here, I've assigned it a solid gray color. You're probably thinking, well, that's not MDF, but this is how I envision I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to paint it a gray color, which is why I've assigned it gray. And then I could go ahead and then I can just preview that. And so once I'm happy with all of those, I can simply go ahead and save out uh, all of those toolpaths uh, from each of those sheets. And so that's how you use the sheets feature in order for you to create multi-material projects really easy. Thank you for watching.